Capricorn, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for July 8th through the 14th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. <clears throat> Ooh, the overall energy for the reading, the tower. So something's happening, something's shaking. I don't know in which direction, but something is there. Um, in the recent past, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. There's happiness here, but there's almost like a sense of, um, you know how you go in a direction and you're so determined and you're so, you're so good and steady in your pace and then you just trip. You don't fall, but you just, boop, oh, oh, what the hell was that? You know, that's kind of how it's looking like there. It's not a big deal necessarily. I don't know what the hell is going on. Because overall, the energy feels really, really good here on your end. Uh, okay. In the current situation, the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. There's fear. There's fear sneaking up on you here in a particular situation. You feel good about the situation for the most part. I feel like maybe it's something a little new. Maybe that's why fear is sneaking in. So it feels, I don't know if it's the first time you've dealt with whatever this is, but it definitely feels a little on the newer side, like a fresh energy, like a new one. So, but that um, little bit of fear there just creates a whole lot of overthinking for you. Uh, in the immediate future, the Temperance card, the Page of Pentacles, the Hermit. Uh, that's a lot of... Um, how do I put this? Let's say you're entering a period of time, quite long-ish, of a, a pretty deep sense of healing. But it's not that you're um, committing yourself to this. It's not like you're saying, oh, okay, starting tomorrow, I'll go in healing mode. It doesn't look like that. It just looks like you're just there with it, you know? So you might enter quite the cycle of healing through which I feel like you're going to learn a whole lot of things here. So it looks pretty cool, and it, especially if it's not planned, <laughs> you know, you just, you just do it. Um, okay, let's clarify. Let's see the tower here. <clears throat> what the hell is this? Uh, for the tower, you get the moon, the tower again, the six of pentacles. Um, this is nice because it looks very, very scary, but it brings out such a great result that you're like, oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what's going on though. It's very intriguing. It's like, what could this be? And in all honesty, I don't feel like you're supposed to know either in the sense of something may feel very, very off, very, mm, uh, let's say you're gonna go take an exam tomorrow and you've studied and all but right before you get there you feel the sense of doom the sense of like oh my god like the end of the world and then you do better than you expected you know on that exam or something like that that's kind of how it shows up um i don't know what it is though it's quite intriguing because it looks like like this and it's, it's, it's something you would feel internally. You don't know where it's coming from. It's not, I don't feel like it's out of fear or anything like that. I feel like it's something else that's creating that whole um, unsteadiness, you know? Um, but then it looks so fine. It's like, it just falls into, into place here, uh, into the right place, apparently. So, okay. Let me do the Ten of Cups in the recent past, the Chariot, the Three of Swords, the Emperor. Um, okay. So there is 
There is an energy of happiness here that, that almost looks like it's meant to be there. It's supposed to be there. It feels good. Um, there's a little bit of pain attached to that. And there's another energy you're sharing this with. Um, overall, it feels good, though. So it feels like it's, it's going up. It's building. It's going somewhere. Let me do the two of pentacles. The Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. You got something else. Oh, that's what it is. You got, you got something else that you're focused on. And it could be... I, I feel like it's yours. It's, it's either a project you got going on or work or something tied up to more of a material sense of things where your focus is definitely almost 100% there. But then there's this situation going on, which is kind of looking like it's going on its own. You're just part of it. It feels good. It's working. Your focus is on something too. So it looks a little bit crowded there, a little like trying to be in both places at the same time or something like that. So it's not necessarily the tripping part of it. It's actually the expansion part where you got uh, a whole lot going on potentially at once. And at some point I see you kind of not knowing how to, where to go, what to do, you know. Um, looks like you want to give in many directions. And then it's like, but there's just one of me. So how, like how? Um, okay, so it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's just that sense of feeling a little stuck in there because there's too much going on at once. All right. I feel like you overcame that. I don't feel like you stayed there for too long. Let's do the Knight of Swords. For the Knight of Swords, you get the Six of Swords, the uh, Ace of Wands, the Hermit. You may have given up on some things to kind of unstuck yourself and keep going here um yeah yeah but it all made sense in the end you know because again if you took on a little too much of this too much of that blah, 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 where you're spread out in so many places at some point something's got to give you know at some point you're gonna you're gonna have to release some of that um so that you can you know, focus on what's important and keep moving with that. And that's exactly what happened here. Okay. Let's do the page of cups in the current situation. Whew. What? This is not new. Well, it is new. This is not new as a partnership. You're showing me a partnership, but you're showing me stability. You're showing me a deep connection there. And you're showing me that sense of friendship too, to it. You know, like the one of, I got your back, you got mine. So it, it kind of has everything. It's new from that perspective. Cause I don't know if you've ever experienced a partnership like this, where it's like the whole package is here. You know what I mean? So from there, from that angle, it feels like a fresh, a new energy, but this uh, partnership, whatever this is, it's been around for a minute. It's not that new. Let me do the five of pentacles. The three of cups, the page of swords, the five of pentacles. There's a little bit of um, fear to open up emotionally a little more to this. Now, I'm not sure if that's on your side or if this is whoever you're dealing with. But there's a... Um, That someone feels a little constrained emotionally, especially here. Uh, they're doing the best they can with what they got, but uh, there's a whole lot of fear surrounding that emotional aspect of let's open up to this, you know, from, from that angle. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that's you, but could be. Nonetheless, it could create whosoever energy this is. It could create quite the overthinking um even on your side even if it's not you but uh let's see here for the eight of swords you get the knight of wands the knight of pentacles the three of wands uh, i mean kind of giving me a sense of 
it's been like this for a while potentially in regards to that openness from that emotional angle um but you're you're giving me a sense of yeah it created issues here and there in the past it still does but we always overcome it kind of a deal okay so that would be somewhat of an issue here or something that creates issues even if they are temporary <clears throat> all right let me do the temperance card in the uh immediate future you get the temperance card again the five of wands the ten of swords huh Huh. Interesting. Because I see some time passing, quite the amount of time passing. And then there's conflict and then there's dissolution. Then there's a, a break between the energies that are in conflict. Um, I'm kind of I'm being pulled back here into this little situation that for right now doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. You know, that someone is... And it, you can't force someone ultimately to open up emotionally if they don't know how to do it. You know, it's something that they would have to work on. Um, and I'm not saying go and force them because otherwise pff, you don't want to get there. Uh, it's not about that. But like the way that this is handled, that's where I'm going to go. Because it's like the way this is handled, you're almost giving me a sense of, ah, we're used to it. It's fine. We'll be fine. You know, it's a pain in the ass when it happens, but then we're fine. Mm -hmm. But those energies usually have the tendency to build up, you know, little by little. It's not a big deal now. It's not a big deal next week. It's not a big deal next month. They stay there as energies and they build up into potentially this, where they get to the point of, okay, this is a little too much at this point in time. And because all of these little bits haven't been addressed up until this point, that's what it could be creating. So why not take this and deal with this now, for example, in the sense of, I kind of see this as an energy of teamwork between the two of you. So I see this, if this is them, because this could even be you, who knows? This energy of not being able to fully open emotionally. Um, and I would maybe put it on the table there. Hey, let's, uh, let's talk about it. And it's not, I'm not going to force you to do anything. I'm not, I'm just here to tell you, this is what's going on when that happens. You know, this is what's going on on my end. When you do that, can we do something about that? Can we work around that? You know, and let, let's see how it goes next time when maybe you start working on this i'll tell you how it makes me feel and then we'll take it from there and so on and so forth but like leaving it at the sense of not a big deal we'll get over it that's gonna create problems here you know on the long run because this is a little bit out there in the future here but it might get there uh for the page of pentacles in the immediate future you get the strength card the world card the two of swords hmm. and that's how it usually happens because i bet there's a lot of situations that that already happened for someone where things you know things that forget about it it's okay we don't need to worry about it already led to a potential um disruption in something and someone looks back and they're like oh now i know what's up now i know how to handle that but it's in the past it's already done deal you're kind of in the middle of this so you can actually work with this and prevent this from going to not great places because in here you're kind of showing me okay cycle close what's done is done why the fuck wasn't i able to pick it up when it happened you know because you weren't it, it, i mean you're kind of recognizing cycle is closed. There's nothing you can do about it. So why stress about it any longer? You'll kind of figure it out as it comes in the future. But from what I'm seeing for in your case right now, it's happening right now. So why not address it right now? Instead of waiting for that time that you have to look back and be like, oh, I know what should have been done. Mm -hmm. No, you get the chance to do it right now. Let's do the hermit. 
In the immediate future, you get the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Yeah, and then you want to go back and kind of... There's definitely that sense of if I only knew then what I know now um, throughout the immediate future on your, on your side. And it's like, you know now, so do it now. Uh, you're coming in with all of that and then kind of taking that energy into a sense of let's, let's try to do something about it because now I know better, you know. Um, I'm just saying, it's showing up for you right now. And I know energy is fluid. For some of you, this could have already happened, all the, the current situation for others, not even yet. So why not deal with it as it comes instead of waiting for that time in the future where you, where you can say, if I only knew then what I know now, you know? Pointless. You already know, because, you know, you've seen it in the reading. From the universe, you get the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, you're trying your best to not fall into that energy of, if I only knew then. Because you know, ultimately, you know, what's done is done. It's in the past. What can you do from here moving forward? And that's the principle that you're trying to approach here rather than, you know, going back, feeling sorry and things like that. It's, it's like it's a done deal. Like, let's see what we can do moving forward. Um, so you're trying your best to not get stuck in that way of thinking of if I only knew then because it doesn't really help now you know what are you going to do with it from here on out you know but if this is currently happening if you're in a situation in which you catch yourself saying it's okay don't worry about it we'll be fine we're fine every time it happens go address that in a different way because that that's not those energies are going to build up and they're going to send you right into this place so that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.